Hey guys, what's up? It's Chris, and in this video, I'm gonna show you what I eat in a day, vegan, of course, and also try to uh, calculate the protein intake for all you out there that are worrying about not getting enough protein. What's up, dog? What's up, Craig? Not a lot, of, just shooting my vid. Just shooting my vid? Yeah. Craig's also shooting a video, so go make sure you watch his video when we're done watching this one. <laughs> yeah, all the videos. We're just gonna run. A little bit. We're not marathon runners. Well, I'm not at least. I'm not even, the longest race I've ever done was eight kilometers, and I have no intention of running anything longer. Than eight that. kilometers. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I usually I, lately I've been going about a 5K, so we'll probably do something like that right now. So, all right, let's go. All right. I'm gonna do this the whole way. <laughs> Get my arm a little workout. Get a good shoulder workout before you even go to the gym. Let me share a little story with you about protein and vegans. They don't mix, because we all know vegans by nature are protein deficient, because the only place where you can find protein in this entire world is from animal products. So naturally, when I went vegan a long time ago, all the protein slowly weaned out of my body, and there I was, a shriveled up, frail, weak vegan. I couldn't even lift a spoon to my mouth when I was eating a bowl of cereal. My doctor ordered me to immediately go to Iceland where they infused me with Viking blood, which gave me a little protein boost. And from then on in, I had to be very careful with my protein intake as a vegan. Here I am 25 years later. Oh, 5K. Well, what was our time? Uh, 32, 34. All right, so we took a little slow 5K. We went off some irregular trails this time. Yep. I left my water at home. Yeah, I did too. So I was like, oh, Chris is going to have water. Yeah. <laughs> so it's time to go get some water. Yeah. And then we'll see you at the gym. Mm -hmm. Here we are at the gym. I got the day pass because I normally work out at home and do calisthenics, but I was able to go with Craig and actually lift some weights. And if you guys all know, it's really hard for vegans to lift weights because we're so frail and we lack the protein to do so. So here I am trying to build some muscle, trying to feel the burn and get a good workout. But I had to keep going back and resting because my protein is so low. Here I am trying to do some pull-ups, but as you can imagine, it's hard to lift your own body weight when you're a vegan. So I went to some dips and I tried a few of those. After that, I had had enough. I got a little bit too carried away I mean, over at Craig's. We're, we're kind of doing like the same variation of a uh, protein packed vegan uh, what I eat in a day and I just had uh, the vegan uh, shake that Craig made and he made it in his uh, knockoff a Vitamix with some of the Vivo Life. I, so I, this is a protein powder that I gotta admit I've never had this one before and I've had a lot of protein powders and this was really good so if you want to see more on the uh, ingredients that he used in that video go check out his video which is I'll, I'll link it below. But anyways, that was really good. That was 40 grams of protein. This is the first thing I had today after the workout that I just did and the uh, 5K that we did a little bit earlier. So I'm feeling good now. I'm feeling replenished. Now I'm going to head back home. So I will see you guys on the next meal of the day. So over here on the stove, I have some rice cooking because it takes the longest and I like my rice to come out just right. So now it's just kind of simmering and it's a it's a Wegmans blend of rice it's called mountain red blend and it consists of red rice red jasmine rice lentils and black quinoa so we've got a lot of protein packed in here we also have an onion and a zucchini which by the way this zucchini was from john's garden and we are going to go chop that up now so now we're over here and i have my cutting board which is basically just a pizza board but i like cutting on it and I can carry it around with me. I also have some tofu, very high in protein, 10 grams of protein. And I also have some veggie bacon by the company Soy Boy for all you carnies out there. Yeah, Soy Boy has been around for a long time. This is organic veggie bacon. It's pure tempeh. It's one of the best forms of soy for you. And it's packed with protein, seven grams to be exact. And uh, I also have some broccoli, which I'm going to steam gonna chop that up a little bit we're gonna go steam that with the bamboo 
steamer, which is on the stove. All right, we got a block of organic tofu. I'm only gonna use half of it tonight. And now we are going to make a seasoning. So right here, I just got some nutritional yeast. I got the, the Nutrilicious, pretty yummy. And I also have some paprika. I'm just throwing this in there, just kind of eyeballing it. I have this Grill Master. It's uh, by Fresh Jacks. Um, it's just a Grill Master seasoning. I've never used it before, so we're gonna use it on this one. It's gonna be good, it smells good. Just throw some of that in. That's optional, obviously, if you can't find it. I have some dried basil. Some of that in there. Cracked black pepper. I got the chicken salt. Vegan, of course. You can use regular sea salt. Just gonna use a little bit of that. We got some cumin. And we have some dried oregano. Throw all that together, right? Right? All right? We're doing good so far. And some of my homemade vegan parm. You guys wanna see how I made this? I have a video, I will link it below. You can just click on it and watch it. Very simple recipe. I'm just gonna pour a little bit of that in there as well. About that much. And we're just gonna mix that up. We got the Chefman air fryer over here. We're gonna fry this up, but we're gonna fry it up nice and healthy. There we go. There's one little patty. It's gonna go right in there. Just wanna make sure they're a little bit still wet from some of the water. That's why I don't press my tofu. That's why I don't dry my to tofu off. And then what you can do with this excess, you can save this, you can use this for a little seasoning. And I'm gonna turn that on to about 15, 20 minutes. I like it to be nice and crispy on the outside. All right, we're gonna chop this onion, half of it. We have a lemon, and we're also gonna chop off this nice zucchini that I got from John's Garden. And I'm not gonna cook with any oil. We're gonna take it over the stove, and you can use veggie broth, you can use water. I'm just gonna put that right in there. Hear that sizzle? Squeeze a lemon over it. Don't get those lemon seeds in there though. You can season it as you go. I like to do that. You guys probably know from my other video. A nice pan makes a big difference too. This is a nice cast to iron. This is my steamer. I have a bamboo steamer. And we're gonna steam the broccoli and the spinach on this. So I'm gonna fill this with a little bit of water. So now I'm gonna add some chickpeas, and chickpeas are packed with protein. This has six grams in it. This is a chana masala one. You don't have to use that one, I'm just going to. It's gonna give it some extra taste, and I'm not gonna have to use any more water uh, while I'm cooking this. So there you go. I found these at my uh, local Wegmans. Let's get that spinach and broccoli going. So this right here, this is a double steamer, and I will link it below if you guys are interested in getting one. They're definitely worth it. I use it a lot. Steaming food is, I guess, underrated, but it's a good way to cook your food. Now I have some of the soy boy tempeh. We're gonna open some of that. This is a spicy buffalo. I've never had this one. No buffalo or herd in the making of this. And we're just gonna cook that up. I can feel some of that protein surging through my, my veins. You know, we want the best protein packed meal we can get. These are just common foods too. You just put them together and this is extremely protein packed. We put about a tablespoon of ground flaxseed in there too. I think I'm gonna pull it out of, out of this pan, guys. Sometimes this is how you figure out a recipe. You just gotta improvise. And what I'm doing right now is I'm going to uh, just kind of cut it up into little bacon bits and we're just gonna throw it in there. All right, I've got something to add. I've got some fresh basil. Give it a little chiffonade. And then I have a fresh tomato right on the vine. Give it a nice dice. Oh, that means the tofu is probably done. We're just gonna throw that tomato in there. Let that cook in. It's looking good. Let's go see how the tofu is looking. Ouch. All right, tofu. Nice breaded, crispy tofu. So. I could easily use it just like that, but I'm gonna cut it into strips. This is how I cook tofu when I'm not using oil. And it still comes out nice if you do it the way I did it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right guys, we're keeping it real in the zombie apocalypse. Our food is about done. So let's plate it up. Rice blend right here. Let's mix it up. Ooh, that came out perfect. 
You let it sit for a while, it doesn't stick to the bottom. There it is, look at that. Nice rice blend. Spoonful and a half of that. And then this right here with the chickpeas and tempeh and onion and tomato, zucchini. I mean, that looks so good. It's making me hungry, look at it. That's okay, because I'm gonna be eating very soon. I'm gonna put some of this nice spinach, steamed spinach right on the side like that. And then under the spinach, we have the broccoli. The broccoli came out pretty perfect too. So far, it's looking really good. Look at that. And then some of that basil that I chopped up. We'll just put that right on the top like that. You don't really need a sauce, but I was gonna make a cashew cheesy sauce. However, what I could put on it, some salsa. I like to put salsa on things, so. So I got Newman's salsa, and it's got a very, out of most of the salsas out there that I found, it's got a low sodium content. So I'm gonna put some of that on top, just like that. Oh, more, 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 more. And there we have it. We're gonna add up the protein in this, and hopefully, it can get my protein levels up above deficient. Let's see. Put some more of that seasoning from the tofu on there too. And it smells and it looks really good. I'm gonna go eat this. This is about roughly 46 grams of protein right here. So that brings us up to 86 grams of protein for the day. <sighs> deficient. So it's about that time of night you're feeling very depleted in your protein. Your energy levels are very low. As a vegan, you're not getting any energy. You're very frail and weak, and you want to make it through the night. You want to at least wake up in the morning. So we need some protein. And that's where Bonza comes in. This is pasta made from chickpeas. It is gluten-free, low glycemic index, non-GMO, and vegan. And it's pretty good, too. And it's got 25 grams of protein per three and a half ounces. Now there's four servings in this container. As you can see, it's not a huge container, so we can definitely do that. 25 grams of protein is going to, at the very minimum, keep us breathing so we don't pass away in our sleep. So let's put this in here before we run out of strength and we're not able to open it. And I have a tomato. We're gonna cut that. Look at that, fresh basil right from the plant. And we're just gonna dice that. Well, we're not gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. We're gonna also give that a chiffonade like the last meal. It's still cooking over there. I have a lime. And I also have sea salt. Bam. We got a strainer. We're gonna strain our pasta. Just gonna wash the excess the foam off of there. It gets kind of foamy with these uh, chickpea noodles. All right, that is 25 grams of protein right there. Put that tomato right on top, just like that. Also the basil right on there. All right, and then I'm just gonna put some lime on there. I have my Parmesan that I made. Like I said before, you can find the link to this below. But there's some uh, cashews, nuts, nutritional yeast, and uh, other spices in there. So there's even more protein here. So this is probably, I would say, 26, 27 grams of protein, and uh, I don't have a napkin for this, but that looks delicious. My stomach is rumbling. <laughs> I'm so frail. Let's try it out. Mmm. Mm-hmm. That's real good. Now, if you did what I did, and you made all the same recipes that I made in this video, and you don't have any other snacks in between, that should leave you with roughly 114 grams of protein. And that should be enough to get you to see another day. If you like this video, give me the thumbs up. And don't forget to check out Noah Craig's video. I will link it below. A lot of don't forget to's, but don't forget to subscribe, survive, watch out for zombies, and I'll see you next time when we talk about another vegan deficiency. Just a little disclaimer for those of you out there that take things just a little too seriously. This was, of course, satire, as most of you know. Protein deficiency is one of the most common myths we hear as vegans. I've been hearing it for a better part of 30 years, 
and you pretty much have to starve yourself and not eat at all in order to be protein deficient. And that's simply because just about all foods have protein in it. So just eat your food. If you feel like you need more, add some protein powder, eat a protein bar, make some of the meals that I made today. I have several other videos with meals packed with protein. Enjoy your food, you should be okay.